Hello and welcome to the ChessCreator.com YouTube video channel. In this video I'd like to go through a game I played recently in a bullet tournament. In the tournament itself I actually performed pretty well coming 11th out of 150. Um, surprisingly I've chosen one of my losses to video annotate for two reasons. Um, first of all it's in the Dutch Stonewall defense and so this video acts as a uh, follow-up on an earlier YouTube video that I posted and the second reason is to go through lessons learned and really try and identify some of the mistakes I made so that I don't make them again. Um, hopefully uh, by watching this video you can also learn. So just to refresh your memory on the Dutch Stonewall it's a response to d4 and here I start with e6 which is a way to transition into the Dutch defence and also um, it invites a French defence as well if, if white plays e4 black can play d5 and we're into the French defence um, which is another line that I don't mind. So the game continues. I play d5, white plays e3, and I complete my pawn triangle with uh, c6. White continues and uh, plays uh, slightly passively here. I don't really recognise the opening, um, but again, this is this is bullets. Um, I'm being cautious myself because this opponent is rated um, about 450 points higher than myself so I'm expecting uh, to be crushed any second. I play the bishop to d6 and white castles. I continue development with knight d7. White prepares to fianchetto their dark square bishop and I complete my stone wall. White continues by fianchettoing their bishop. I play knight to f6, c4, and castle. And at this point, I pretty much have uh, my familiar stone wall set up. Uh, just to remind you, some of the themes are pawns on c6, d5, e6 and f5. Uh, the f5 and d5 pawns give a great outpost on e4 for the knight and the knight and dark square bishop combine to uh, give a little bit of protection to the weak square in the stone wall which is e5. So at this point I'm quite comfortable considering I'm up against a, a player uh, with a significantly higher rating. Um, at least I've got through the opening without being blown off the table. So the game continues. Knight c3. And I play the thematic knight e4. White captures and I recapture. White centralizes their rook and I play a6 to uh, discourage the knight from hopping into b5 and threatening my precious dark square bishop. So, game continues. White plays knight a4. I push the knight back and the knight retreats. And here I play the thematic rook lift. Uh, rook to f6 intending rook to h6 and um, hoping to uh, swing my queen across uh, which in conjunction with the bishop on d6 um, is all designed to uh, apply an almost lightning attack on, uh, on the king's side of white. So my opponent responds 
by placing a knight onto e5 to block the diagonal and I decide to take um, and here I miscalculate a little bit because um, most people uh, tend to uh, just recapture um, straight away it's kind of a knee-jerk reaction um, but my opponents rated uh, well into the 2100s and um, clearly um, spent a couple of minutes calculating and um, I wonder if you can see the tactical weakness I'll give you five seconds to see if you can spot what move they play next well they play quite a nice little move here and when I recapture again without really considering uh, the position I end up with two pieces being forked rather embarrassingly so at this point we're about uh, halfway into the game and I'm thinking oh great shall I resign instantly against a stronger opponent but I decide to play on for a little bit and the game does uh, does give me some winning opportunities um, but I managed to uh, to lose uh, to lose the winning opportunities so here we go so at this point um, I have a primitive route one attack uh, just swinging the queen across and just hoping for some counterplay um, white is just a just to clear a uh, piece up at this point there's there's almost no compensation at all particularly with uh, my light square bishop um, still being undeveloped so here though um, white gives me a glimmer of hope for a little bit of counterplay because I play the rook here and threaten the dark square bishop and here rook gives me an op uh, sorry white gives me an opportunity for a uh, for a tactic again this is bullet so mistakes do happen um, but clearly the rook is being protected by the bishop and nothing is protecting the bishop so now he has two choices whether to retreat the rook or protect the rook and he chooses the wrong option which is to protect the rook and gives me the other bishop so in the space of uh, half a dozen moves or so I've gone from being a clear piece down to a clear piece up um, and um, here I guess I see red or just the uh, my brain shut down what I should have done here is uh, just calmly um, defend this position look to uh, somehow wriggle the uh, the light square bishop into action um, or even consider uh, bringing the the other rook back down to defend the back row instead of that I blunder horribly which um, loses me the game um, I decide to go for the attack thinking well at least I can almost deliver mate but I completely underestimate the position and um, the reason why I'm showing this is because um, there's quite a cool cool mate um, uh, involving under promotion even though I'm on the receiving end um, I did actually uh, feel like applauding my opponent so the game continues rook takes c8 check I recapture and um, now the game is level in terms of material but uh, the white queen has almost free reign to um, harass the king winning pawns as she does and my opponent quite rightly um, declines the queen trade um, really uh, it's quite a nice move there I guess in hindsight I could have played uh, Rook 
group takes. Um, again, I didn't see that under the time pressure. So the game continues as follows. And uh, by now, um, I'm in an awful predicament. Uh, and my opponent does the merciful thing and finishes me off with uh, quite a nice un under promotion uh, checkmate, checkmate delivered by the knight. So, what did I learn from this game? Well, again, it's not all about attack. Sometimes when you go a piece up, the most prudent thing to do is uh, just defend. Um, and I guess the other thing I've learned is that the Dutch Stonewall, um, with the delayed f5 instead of playing one f5, is perfectly playable against um, stronger opponents. And it does give you winning opportunities, uh, even in bullet and blitz games. So, I hope this video has been useful if you play the Stonewall Dutch yourself or you play against it. Um, and I also hope it gives you food for thought uh, in terms of um, trying not to lose um, the advantage in winning positions. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing to my channel. It's, um, it's free. And in the meantime, I wish you all the best and if you have any questions uh, just drop me a line on YouTube. Thanks very much.